Um, my name is Christine Jack. I live in the Hoisten Reserve, uh, 51 kilometers down the, down the road. Uh, I've lived uh, a traditional life most of my life. Uh, you know, I'm a hunter. I'm a fisherwoman. I've been privileged in a way to have been intact in my culture my entire life. The area that we're in is, is called Junction Creek, which is in what there is known as the Yellowkin Valley, which is traditionally the Hoisten hunting territory and medicine and uh, fruit gathering place, as well as trade with other nations. This is the area where the Shushwap, the Chilkotin and the Stratlium come to, to trade, to have meetings, to have uh, the understandings of, of uh, hunting borders, as well as family, family matters of marriage, of uh, ceremony as well, where the nation, three nations would actually come to ceremony. There, there, there's many, many uh, evidences here of uh, active, full active uh, communication, as well as that uh, the union the union that the people that, that, you know, come traveled miles to be here. And so it really built a, a strong relationship of uh, survival, sustainability, and honor, honoring the, the, the boundaries of territory. So I feel so privileged again in a way to, to be a person that gets to return to the land and and honor those relationships and honor the lands, the, what the land offered our people, learn from the land and, and walk with the people. When we were brought in, when I was brought in by the elder to go back to the, the cut block that uh, Aspen Planers had, had done and uh, had a look at the malpractice of logging, um, you have to understand too that the elder once was a logger, so he he has an understanding of what what was what was good and how the ribbons are laid out and and all of these things. So as he took me back there, I I got to learn again what's what's not really what they're not adhering to, and so you know for for these uh, companies that want to come in and and do more logging and have the understanding of the life that's far beyond just the tree. And the reasoning why it's uh, that important. If they can't really change those practices, you know, uh, they're not they're really not gonna be welcome in the territory. Uh, well, if it's, whether it's me or it's somebody else, I think we've been here a lot, long time trying to show uh, a good way of life and will continue to show up. I, I truly believe that. So, you know, at this point, you know, Aspen Planners has pulled out and has made some, you know, are trying to figure out what to do. And I'm glad for that. But uh, I won't, I won't give up. I'll, I'm going to be here whenever any of these things decide to come into the territory and this, in this area because that's a, just a responsibility I've, I've taken on. I'm committed and determined to carry it out to the best of my ability. I, I have to base my, my uh, stand here on being a people of the land. And as I get to everyday opportunity to do that, it'll, I'll strengthen it as one, and which will strengthen our people. So I hope more carry out the responsibilities as caretakers and come back and walk to see how important it is that we return to the land. <laughs>